All right, I'm gonna do this one take uh, because I I, I want to get this up before all more characters get announced, and I want to go with those. I want to get those sweet sweet horror views. <laughs> five good boys I want in Smash oh. Ultimate. Uh, number one or n number five, I guess. First guy I want in Smash Ultimate as DLC is Knight Solaire from Dark Souls, the Lightning Daddy himself, or if some other Dark Souls rep, I don't really care. Uh, the only reason I'm not suggesting Knight Solaire is because he's the popular meme character, and he already has an amiibo, so I can tell that. He's a very popular boy. That didn't come out right, but whatever. One one take, let's go. Another character that I'd actually want to see in as a Souls rep is Soul of Cinder. Uh, I think he would probably have a higher chance of getting in just because he's from the newest Souls game, and also because his moveset could be a lot more varied while also being lore friendly, which is really important to me, because I like the lore and I want it to stay that way even if it's just going into a crossover game where lore is just completely thrown out the window. Uh, whatever. I really like these games, and I just want a Dark Souls rep. If I get one, I won't really care if it's if it's lore friendly. But uh, please, Nintendo, I just I just want a Dark Souls boy, please. Number four, number four is gonna be Brad Armstrong from Lisa. This guy has absolutely no chance of getting in uh, because a he's not on a Nintendo console. B, he's from a game that is absolutely brutal in its tone and subject matter, and C, uh, no one, no studio, aside from, no, just just no no studio, no no company, has expressed interest whatsoever in doing anything with a weirdo little RPG maker game made by, like, one guy. But you know what? I, I really want him in. I love this game and think Brad could be an incredibly interesting character. His basic attacks are pretty much already taken care of just because of his moveset in his own game. Uh, such as like, so just because he uses like, he's a martial arts boy, he uses different martial arts. <laughs> I think it would be super cool if his specials either incorporated his party members, uh, or mechanics like getting joyed and withdrawal. Uh, you can make his final smash also incorporate party members of joy. I just want to see that being represented. But as, as, as long as you make his running animation the bike, I, I don't really give a shit. That would be perfect. Uh, number three. Number three is Sans Undertale. Yep. Uh, literally the only reason I want him in is because I think it would be funny as hell. Okay, number two. Number two is the heavy weapons guy from Team's, Team's Defense, Defense Fort 2. 2. I didn't even know I wanted this guy in the game until I saw a fucking amazing mock-up render of Heavy in Smash Ultimate's art style made by the users Laser Sofa and Lego Former 1000 on Twitter. I'll put their put their little put their names up on screen right now. Uh, this along with a really cool SFM also made by Lego Former 1000 have single-handedly made Heavy one of my top boys I want in the game. I don't even care what his move set would be. Just imagine seeing just imagine like watching a Nintendo Direct and then you see and then you see this come up on screen. I am Heavy Weapons Guy, and this- I lose my shit. And number one, baby! It's, uh, it's Minecraft Steve. No, no, no jokes. I, not because I think it would be funny. I just, I really, I really want Minecraft Steve in the game. Yeah, that's kind of a lie because I think it would be funny as hell to hear the announcer say, Steve, whenever you picked him, but, but still. Minecraft is one of those once in a generation games that comes out and makes huge waves with just how innovative and popular it is. Uh, for an indie game rep, I don't think anyone could be a better, could be a better, yes. For an indie game rep, I don't think anyone could be better than Steve just due to the widespread recognition of Minecraft and how much it has changed the gaming industry. Other than that, there is so much cool shit you could use for his moveset, uh, but my big dumb brain can't come up with anything consistent, so I'm just gonna link to Noggin's video on it in the description if you want a really good explanation. Uh, but yeah, Minecraft Steve, he'd be pretty cool and I'm definitely not saying all of this just because of nostalgia. <laughs>